My name is Ray Keeley. I've been an artist since I was a little kid, so that's kind of what I've, I'm retired now, and this is what I do full time, so living the dream. That started very early when I was just a, a young child, about four years old, and I started, my parents had a, gave us a chalkboard for Christmas, and I started drawing on. I drew a little shark, and everybody thought it was cool, and I just kept on drawing, and pretty soon I was drawing on all my school papers, little animals, I handed in my assignment, and just improved, and I had lots of encouragement, so on. So I've discovered more things to put into my art, like uh, new styles, new, like even my carving has changed from, I wasn't a carver. Matter of fact, uh, one of my instructors was Bill Epp, and he's, he's an amazing carver. He used to visit him, he used to say, Ray, you should be a sculptor. I said, yeah, well, whatever. But uh, one day I picked up a log, and I took it home, and I started carving, and he was right. So that was cool. I've added stuff to my, my repertoire of, of art making, and I'm always open to forms of art making. I think it stretches you as a person. People really enjoy is my Mystic Animal series, and I really enjoy doing it, because it's, it's something that's a surprise to me when I'm doing it too, so. I'll be working on a carving and look at my painting, and I'd say, wow, there needs to be something different there, or I'll be working on a painting, look at my carving, and I say, I see something different there. And it helps me to have a distance, a little bit of a distance from what I'm working on. I was looking at one of my carvings that you'll see there were, were um, the Lords of the Rings, and there was a place where you see a flaring goose. At first it was going to be a spruce tree and a, a moon. And I was painting and I looked down and I said, no, it's a goose. And it just came to me that way. I like to let the artwork talk to me and tell me what it needs to be. And it's kind of neat, especially with the mystic, uh, mystic uh, painting style with all the little dots and little dashes and symbols. I, don't st I can draw you a bear, I can draw you an elk or a moose or a deer, but putting all those little forms down is it's very much like composing music. It's as close as I'll probably ever get to co composing music because you're looking at high places and low places, and bright places and cool places. And a little story here and a little story there, and before you know it, you found out you, you've got this magical kind of animal in front of you. The curator there, and Nicole, she says, your stuff's pretty political. I didn't mean it to be political. <laughs> it just kind of came out, you know? And it's not a slam in the face political, it's, a, it's just part of who I am. And I want to reflect that. And be proud of it, every aspect of it. Some of it's negative, some of it's positive. And uh, you just accept that, right? So. I don't think you can help it. I don't think you can help but reflect who you are in your art. And uh, uh, I'm highly recognizable, I know that. I embrace that. Um, my style with the uh, horizontal lines, and I mean, that's coming off of living on the prairies. And in living in a northern lake land, you see horizon, everything's very, everything's very horizontal. And, as I was doing that, then the whole meaning to those bars takes shape. It, it means like it's a time zone. When you look at in the distance and it's a different color, it's like a time zone you see. And stuff is happening back there. At the same time as it's happening up here, at the same time as it's up in the skies. So that's kind of cool. I, I always keep that in the back of my mind when I'm doing that and when I'm choosing colors for backgrounds and for paintings. And I'll look back there and think, man, I wonder what it was like way back there. <laughs> you know, at the same time, right? So it's uh, time and space, I guess that's kind of what uh, all those bars start to mean to me. Well, I have a, a carving I did of a cane. A 90 year old guy came by, saw that I was carving and gave me a piece of diamond willow. And so I made it into a walking stick. He dropped by two weeks ago, we took pictures, that was great. <laughs> I am the instrument, and uh, and when like I talk about when the material or the art 
is speaking to me. I, I feel like I'm on a journey, but I'm not just, I'm just kind of like the ship moving along and staying in the right direction. And I've talked to lots of artists, even uh, uh, musicians and uh, write music. And it's like, you're finished what you did. And you say, wow, did I really do that? And it's like, that's cool, <laughs> you know. Uh, and that's the best because you know you, you've got something down that uh, that came from a place that is uh, you weren't aware of, right? You know, sometimes I don't know if I can, can I really carve another piece of wood like that again? And I will, I just have to trust that, you know. I had one professor that was on online and he said something really that I, I thought was really cool to me he encouraged me, he said, uh, trust your intuition. Move on your intuition, and, and you're gonna, you're gonna be, you're gonna be doing okay. Well, like when I'm here, I'm home, and uh, that's where I want to be. Are you an artist who's interested in appearing on Max TV Local? Email us at max.local at sastel.com. 